Hello guys, what is up? Welcome back. And today I'm gonna show you how to turn this video. Into this video. Alright guys, I'm on Premiere Pro right now. First, you have to make sure that this clip records for a long time so that we can add the hyper speed effect easily. Right here, I have a clip in the mountain, riding on the mountain with my motorcycle and we're on our way here to the Mount Manungal. Here is our second clip and we are on our way home right here. So first, right click this clip and go to the speed or the duration and here in the clip or duration make the speed to 500% or it depends if how long your clips have been recorded so for me I have to set this to 2000 2000% and it will create a duration of 10 I think this is uh, 10 seconds yeah 10 seconds 2000% of the speed will turn to 10 seconds duration so click here and the same as your second video clip right click and then go to the speed or duration and make this 2000% like in the first video click ok and then we have our second video as you can see here it will create a fast forward video and it will affect the audio as well so right click the right click to the clip and unlink your video click the audio and control x to delete we can no longer need them i added a song here to incorporate to the video i will unmute that later and here is our fast forward clip okay guys and here's my second clip so probably it's just a basic fast forward and no uh, it's like it's so boring right so what we're gonna do is we'll add the motion blur effects so how to add the motion blur effects right click here again and let's go to the speed or duration in the speed or duration go here in the time interpolation and make this to frame blending what we're gonna do is he will create a fast motion blur see how it looks like and we'll add the frame blending to this clip all right have you seen that it will create a fast motion blur a hyperlapse motion blur you cannot see if you play back the video because you can see the motion blur effect after you render this video and same as the second clip Go here again in the speed or duration and in the time interpolation change the frame something to frame blending click ok and then boom we have now a motion blur effects so it's that simple guys it's not complicated so I know you can do this at home so make sure you will follow this instruction So we have now the smooth hyper speed effect and now we can add the music as well to incorporate to the video. And now we're gonna compare these two clips if how it looks like without the motion blur effects and how it looks like with the motion blur effects.
that's it for today guys hope you liked the video click the thumbs up button subscribe for more click the bell icon and if you have any other questions comment down below and see you in the next video peace